Hello, well, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to create a Pig Latin converter that converts a normal sentence into a Pig Latin sentence. So I'm using the clips. Let's uh, dive right into it. My screen recorder doesn't show it, but I right clicked on the package explorer and uh, I created a new project and uh, I named it Pig Latin 1. Then you're going to create a package. You can name it Pig Latin the same, just use lowercase letters. After creating the package, then we want to create a class named Pig Latin. I'd use a, a uppercase letter for that. The class is R capital. My class came up with the main function because I clicked to create it when creating the class. If you don't have that, you can pause the video and add it in. Next, we're going to create a method called convert to Latin and we're going to pass in a string hello world then right click on it and have it create the method when it creates this convert to latin method it's going to say void we need to change that to string Inside the convert to Latin method, we need to create the string delims, which stands for delimiters. It is a regular expression. Then we're going to split the string that we pass into the method by calling the dot split method on it. And we're going to put delims at in as the parameter. This will split it at any of the spaces between the words. Then assign the string dot split to a string array called words. Then we're going to create a for loop with i, i is less than words dot length i plus plus. This is just a loop that will go through the string array until every word has been passed through. Then inside the for loop, we are going to put words sub i dot substring one plus words sub i dot substring 0 comma 1 plus quotes a so what this does is it takes the second letter on of the word and then adds the first letter to the end and then adds a after that to create the pig latin word we need to assign this statement to a variable so we can return it at the end create a string end and then set end plus equals Then we need to make sure that we know whether or not the word starts with a vowel because that changes what the pig latin word is. So we need to add in an if statement with the method is vowel in the parameters of the if statement and we'll just put the statement that we already created into an else statement after the if statement. Then right click on the isVowel method to auto create the method outside of the convert to Latin method and then add in words sub i dot carat zero in the isVowel parameters in the if statement. This will make it so that we're passing in the first letter of the word to see what it is. In the isVowel method, we're going to put five if statements that follow the structure of if C equals apostrophe letter, which is a vowel, then return true. This will make it so that if we pass in an A, E, I, O, or U, then it will return true, and if else, then it will return false. As is, our isVowel statement could return false if we passed in a uppercase letter. So we either need to add in the uppercase letters in an if statement or go up to the isVowel parameter and say words sub i dot two lowercase dot zero. This will make sure that every character passed in will be a lowercase. 
And if none of those things are true, then we need to make sure that it returns false, so make sure to add a return statement. Then we need to add the statement end plus equals words sub i plus a into the if statement to make sure any vowel words are taken care of. The last step is to add the return statement to the convert to Latin method. So after the for loop, write return end, and then go up to the main method and write system.out.println, put convert to Latin in that so that we can print out the words that we've converted to Latin. After you've added the return statement, we're done. Compile the program and you'll have your pig Latin sentence. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned a little bit more about coding and I hope that you continue to code. This is such a useful skill and it can be used for so many things. Thank you again for watching this video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.